All these uh, network services is anyhow connected to internet, and uh, uh, our firewall uh, is probably much more uh, stronger uh, than uh, any other uh, more, you know, hardware dependent uh, hard, uh, the mobile network. It is kind of uh, you know uh, pretty wrong idea that hardware is stronger in terms of the uh, security. Uh, than the software. I think it's a kind of syndrome. And in terms of 5G, when are you expecting to be able to roll that out? Because your network is 5G ready, but I understand you're beginning with the 4G rollout first before yeah. moving on to 5G? Yeah, so we are uh, going to deploy uh, what we call mobile edge computing. And uh, in Japan, uh, we are going to have over 4,000 edge servers all over Japan, uh, and therefore, uh, we do not really have to create a new network for 5G. What we need to do is we modify our edge server a little bit. Our core network throughput is really, really fast. So what we have to do is just add 5G antenna, which we already have de uh, developed uh, together with uh, Qualcomm uh, as well as NEC. NEC. Uh, but so when can we expect Rakuten to be able to roll out the 5G service? Next June, and, uh, the June 2020. Okay. And in terms of the uh, the 5G rollout, do you think that consumers are actually understanding the benefits of 5G and see the need to upgrade? Because at the moment, I'm on a 4G phone. I can do pretty much everything I need to do on my uh, my device. So is there a need to upgrade to 5G? Do consumers understand that? Well, people, they will understand uh, because the, the key is the edge. Uh, and very, very low latency between your device and the edge. Uh, it's a millisecond uh, latency. Uh, so it's almost like you have artificial intelligence, you own, your own artificial intelligence in your hand. Uh, definitely, uh, you know, the speed is going to be much faster, uh, maybe 1,000 times faster than 4G. Uh, and of course, latency is going to be much shorter. So autonomous driving uh, and other you know, autonomous application uh, is going to be really, really uh, becoming true, I think. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.